All right, coming back once again. What's going on, everybody? God bless you. Hope y'all are still doing well. Coming back with some straight up real talk. Straight up real talk. My title says, if you are in these abusive relationships, you need to get out. You need to get out. Uh, I was just getting a phone call from my mom before I got finished with the other video. And right here, where I'm at, hmm, same street really, you can say. Man just blowed his wife away, shot her, cold blood. She dead, right in front of the children. All over the news, right here where I stay. And the reason I'm doing this video because it's too many women being killed, being shot, stabbed. Let me, let me say something in this video. Nowadays, when people tell you they're going to do something, believe it. Don't take it as a joke. You know, back then it used to be a joke. Man, I kill you. You know, man, leave me alone, man, before I, you know, you come up missing. When somebody say that now, believe it. You know, we used to joke. The same things we used to joke about now, it's happening right before our own eyes. Now, now if you're in an abusive relationship and this man tell you, I kill you if you try to leave me, believe him. Or I'm going to kidnap the kids. I'm taking the kids. Believe him. And it's not just men. You got women doing the same thing, kidnapping kids. So many men have been killed behind a woman. And if a man calling you bitch, ho, slapping you around like you a punching bag, that ain't no man of God. I'm sorry. You can do better than that. Any woman that's cussing you out and, and, and downing you and slapping you upside your head ain't no woman of God. See, we always want to say, well, man, no man should never put their hands on a woman. I agree with that to the fullest. But look at how many women are putting their hands on a man. And the man reflex is so quick. They quick to just slap you back without even thinking about it. Some of them are already be waiting to slap you back. You have to get out while you can. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. Warning always come before a destruction. We see things build up, build up, and build up, but a lot of times we want to overlook it. And to the youngsters, young men, who keep walking around here talking about I'm thuggish, I got these holes in check. Your life is not going to last long. Oh, you think I'm lying? Just look around. Too many are already dead. Too many are already in prison. These abusive relationships well, I can't leave him because I love him. He didn't mean to do it. How many times are you going to say he didn't mean to do it and you going to work covering up your eyes? Man, I whooped you half to death, done threw you down the, stair down the staircase. I told y'all about this lady I used to work with. Man used to beat up every night. She come to work trying to cover it up. And I said, next time he beat on you, he probably going to kill you. And I'll be damned, that's what happened. Killed her. Slapped her so hard, not slapped, excuse me, punched her just like she was a man. And she fell down, tumbled down the stairs, and bust her head up on the wall. Died from that. Bleeding. You got to be careful who laying next beside you. You got to be careful who you're talking to on the phone. You got to be careful who you're going out with. Because that might be your last time going out. These abusive relationships are on the news every day. Every time I cut on the news or look on the internet, man done strangled his wife to death. Or wife done, done poisoned her husband, done shot him up, done stabbed him up, stabbed him while he was asleep. That ain't no love. That's evil. And if you in love with an evil man, sisters, now let me, let me remind you, when I say sisters, I'm not just talking about black women. When I say sisters, because we are all brothers and sisters in Christ, some of us ain't. But when I say sister, you can be white, black, Hispanic, Chinese, I don't care. I'm talking to you. That's not love. That's evil. Some of y'all are in love with a double-minded man. Some of y'all are in love with an evil man who don't mean no, he don't mean no, he don't have no good in him. Everything he do, he's unstable and not some of his ways. But all his ways, I'm talking scripture, my brothers and sisters. Some of y'all are calling yourself in love with a double-minded man. He's killing you physically, 
spiritually, mentally. Some of y'all men are in love with a crazy Jezebel who's killing you mentally, spiritually, physically. Some of us are dying slow PP drugs. We don't even we don't even see it coming. We all got to go anyway. But some of us are leaving ahead of time because we hooked up with some stupid fool. And when I say stupid fool, you can be male or female. It's time to wake up. Just last week, a man got tired of his wife. She kept on telling her, telling him, excuse me, that she was going to leave him and take the kids and, and take pretty much everything they got. And he said, I'm going to prove you wrong on that. She never saw it coming. He was talking about killing her. And he did exactly what he said. She came home from work. And time she opened the door. See that little brown chair I got right there? He was sitting in that chair with the guard cock waiting on her to open up the front door. Blow the head clean off time she walked in the door. He said enough was enough. A lot of people are dying, my brothers and sisters. When you see people in these abusive relationships and they keep making up all these excuses, they really need help. And then sad thing is, even though stay in it so long, and then when you do try to decide to get out, it's too late. I was trying to find this old video I did on her called Get Out While You Can, but I couldn't find it. So I felt like it was time to just come back with a new update and, and say, get out while you can. There is no God in a relationship. There is no relationship. There is no peace in your home. Stop praying for peace when you stand with a man like this. Stop praying for peace when you stand with a woman like this. Even Proverbs teaches us about this kind of stuff. I believe it says best to wander around in the wilderness than to be in the house with a nagging woman, a jacked up woman. It's best to just go on and, 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 and sleep on the rooftop. It's best to just go on about your business, women, when you are in a house with a man that's double-minded. Because a double-minded man, don't he don't compromise with nobody but himself. He's going to be right no matter what. Your way is going to be wrong. It ain't no us. It's going to be him. He's unstable. That's why when you hook up with a thug, that's, that all he care about is the street life. When you're hooking up with these gangsters who you say you're in love with, and then when they turn around and whoop the hell out you, get you pregnant, then get locked away, you sitting there looking crazy. I'm not down to you women. It, it takes two to mess this thing up, what I'm talking about. You know, we always say it's two sides, and then the truth lies somewhere in the middle. Because a person can only do to you what you allow them to do to you. And if you allow this man to keep beating on you, He's going to keep beating on you. If you let, allow that man to talk to you any kind of way, he's going to talk to you and do to you whatever he wants because he knows he's going to get you. Let me tell you something else. If a person can't control your mind, they already got your body. They already got your actions. If a man can get your mind, he already got you. Fellas, we have seen it happen plenty of times, even in the Bible. If a woman get your mind, you done lost focus. She already got your body. You are controlled like a robot. I did an old video talking about Superman and his kryptonite. That kryptonite was his weakness. It didn't matter how strong Superman thought he was. When that kryptonite came down and was put in front of his presence, Superman couldn't do nothing but fall weak. I told y'all in that old video that vagina is just like kryptonite. You will fall weak every time. You think you're strong? Yeah. We, we think we're really strong until we get put in certain situations that's, temp, that's, that's, that's very tempting to us. We fall every time. No matter how much you pray, no matter how much you speak in tongues, it didn't matter how many times you ran around the church and shouted hallelujah, it didn't matter how many sermons you preach. When you at your weakest moment, what happened to all that? Even Solomon fell down like that. Samson had all that strength. But look at what happened with him and Delilah. We got to be careful. So when you sitting up in these relationships once again, letting people beat the hell out of you, talk to you any kind of way, and what, what gets me, these same people got the nerve to get up and go to church every Sunday morning. 
and don't see nothing wrong. And the, the big problem is we got so many people shacking up. I don't care who get mad. If you're shacking up, the shoe fit where you can you can get right. You can change all of that. We got so many people shacking up, and they getting beat on. We got so many women moving in this man, putting this man over your children. Hmm. But let me say this right. This a lot of women get mad at JT when I say this, but this is scripture. Trust me, this is not something I made up. Yes, your husband comes before your children. That's why the Bible tell you that you that a man leave his mother and father to cleave to his wife, not cleave to his children, because he's not marrying your children. He's marrying you. That's why a man of God, a godly man, comes before your children. Your children are going to grow up, get grown, leave the house. But you don't put no thug in front of your children. You don't put no gangster, no pimp, no jacked up, double-minded, stupid fool in front of your children. Stop moving in. He's no good. Sorry. Dirty, let me leave that alone. Men. Shoe fit word. I'm not mad at nobody. I'm just speaking truth. Y'all know I don't bite my tongue. It's time to grow up, man. It's time to pull your pants up. Stop sagging and hanging in the club all damn night. It's time to grow up and teach the children. It's time to grow up and be a man. Be a husband. Be a father. Be about God's business. It's time to grow up, women. It's time out for hanging with your homegirls all night, not going home, seeing how many men you can open up your leg to and how much money you can get. It's time out for being hoes in the street. It's time out for, let me get a little bit real, Lord, y'all help me. It's time out for being hoes in the church. It's time out for all of this mess. It's time to get right. You know why? Because we don't have no time no more, really. When that man just blowed this girl head off, God I was just telling Lady D this about when I uh, used to stay on the other end of my neighborhood, how this how this lady just took her children out. Men, fathers, blowing their own children's brains out. Any of y'all grew up around this stuff like me? I did. I got so used to it, I thought it was a part of life. Somebody getting smoked, like, like we say, you, somebody got smoked, somebody done got killed. It just it, it became a part of growing up for me. I, I was like, oh yeah, man. Oh boy, I got killed last night. Oh girl, she did. It got to a point where I thought that was a part of life. Because when you grow up in a neighborhood that's terrible, when you grow up in the projects, when you grow up where it's gang violence, at shooting, killing, the selling dope, the AIDS, the drugs, you name it. No, no days of I mean, it's just like we say, the drugs and the violence. Not really, not one day of silence. Drive-bys. Little kids being killed. My heart goes out. So when you got your children around in these abusive relationships, you got people killing you and your child. You got a man that don't mind blowing your head off, shooting the kids, and then turning around putting the gun on himself. Get out while you can. Because if you don't get out, you're going to get taken out. How much do you value yourself? How much do you love yourself? Do you love, let me, let me say this right. Thank you, God, for correcting me. How much do you love God? Because if you love God, you're not going to put yourself in these type of situations. Stop walking around and talking about, God, why did you put me in this? Why you got me going through this? God didn't put you in that mess. You put yourself in that mess. And now you're praying for God to bail you out. God is not putting his child in, in the way of harm like that. He told you what to do first was to seek the kingdom. He didn't say seek Tyrone. He didn't say seek Bobo and Louis. He didn't say seek your thug. He didn't say men seek the gangster life, seek the thug life. He said seek the kingdom. And if you ain't seeking the kingdom, you ain't seeking the damn thing at all. With that being said, let us learn. Let us learn from yesterday. Live for today. Excuse my language, but I said it like I wanted to. I could have said it worse than that, but y'all know me. I try to keep it clean. Am I perfect? No. Man, I just, my heart goes out to people. I'm tired of seeing so many beautiful women being killed, being raped, kids being kidnapped. They, they in the grave already. So many men, instead of getting locked up, instead of getting this charge, that charge, I'm on my third strike, I'm on my second strike, it's just... 
time out. I didn't mean to go there in this video, but this is the way it came out. So, hey, once again, learn from yesterday. Stop just living. Have a purpose for your life. And let your purpose be God. Learn from yesterday. Live for the day. Hope and pray once again for tomorrow. God love you. So do JT. Peace.